is a practical demonstration of how to use the eyelid gel stick to clean the sensor of your camera. So this is the package that it comes in, and as you can see there's this stick, there's a protecting plastic cover that you can remove, more or less easily open, and here comes the, the stick. It's very sticky. You should never touch it with your fingers or you will uh, leave a lot of um, oily residue on it. Just keep it clean. Um, take your camera, uh, unmount the lens. It's better if you do this while the camera is turned off. If you have a DSLR reflex camera, uh, use the mirror up function to lock the mirror. Uh, this is a mirrorless one, so we don't have to do that. The, the sensor surface itself is exposed. So now with the tip of the stick, the gel stick, the blue gel, we are going to push it onto the sensor. And you should push it with a certain degree of force, but without pushing too hard, if you don't want to damage the sensor. And it will easily stick. And it takes quite a bit of force to unstick it. So you do this over the whole surface of the sensor, making sure you cover it all. Here and here. And this should take care of most of the dust that's left on your sensor. So we mount the lens again and we take a test shoot. Once you've used the stick one or even a few times, all of the dust that was on the sensor of the camera will now be on the tip of the stick, on that sticky gel. Uh, how do you clean that? The answer is that you use one of these Sticky pads, these are paper pads, they come in the, in the package, and the surface of the pads is more sticky, it's stickier than the gel itself. So what you do is you lift the protective cover and you select an area that you haven't used before. You need to be careful to look where you maybe do a mark on the areas that you've already used and press the gel onto the paper and then remove it. All the dust that was previously on your camera sensor is now safely attached to this pad. You might be able to see it here. And that's it. You can use this pad a number of times till it's all covered in dust and then you can Go to another one, and the full complement of pads here will last you probably for a few years, unless you are used to shooting in very dusty environments. Always remember to put back the gel, the tip of the stick, into its own protective box before storing it. Okay, so did the cleaning work? To find out, we need to compare two images, one taken before the cleaning and one taken after the cleaning. Um, what you want to do if you want to really see all the dust spots that are on your sensor is to take an image of uh, some uh, uniform bright surface. Uh, you can use a white sheet of paper or even you can use the blue sky. Um, Set the lens to its smallest aperture, f22 or whatever that is, uh, and take a photo of the sky, of the, the white or blue sky. Uh, doesn't matter where you focus, we are going to only look for something that's on the sensor, so it doesn't matter where the lens is focused. Um, so uh, we brought the two images in Lightroom and now we are going to use the Lightroom uh, uh, spot healing tool to see the dust spots. So this is the before image. We are going to activate the healing spot tool 
and we're going also to check on the visualize spots uh, check mark here and this will make all the spots really visible um, you might think that's a lot uh, the sensor was actually relatively clean uh, this visualization here uh, really accentuates and make all the even the smallest dust spots very visible uh, you will not be able to see most of them uh, in your photos but still uh, it's good to know that they are there and they can be they can be claimed uh, there are some dust specks here there's probably some uh, i don't know what's that here some hair or longest a thread some uh, fiber i don't really know uh, but i want to get rid of that because that that's pretty visible actually in the real picture so i could spend some time uh, with the spot healing cleaning all of this and do a relatively good job and so on but we clean the sensor so let's switch to the after cleaning image and it's here and you can see that uh, it's quite a bit cleaner than the previous one but still there are some uh, specks that are left on the sensor and these appear to be quite stubborn uh, actually I've noticed some of those specks have resisted even multiple cleaning passes so they something that really stuck onto my sensor and it's it won't be easy to to get rid of uh, still the difference between the before and after uh, uh, it's pretty meaningful uh, especially it will be even be more meaningful if your sensor is really dirty my sensor was as i said relatively clean so i would give the eyelid uh, gel sensor gel stick uh, passing votes for its performance but still it's not perfect you might want to to use some other uh, cleaning more traditional cleaning method uh, in combination with this one maybe use one of those swabs or use a, a duster and you can never really get rid of dust on your sensor but the gel stick helps uh, the best thing is that it doesn't leave any residue on your sensor. Uh, I, when I tried it the first time, uh, I had on my sensor some uh, kind of residue left by a cleaning liquid, and the gel stick got rid of it completely on the first pass. So it's very good also for oily residue. So I will give it. Uh, um, good mark for its performance but keep in mind that it's not perfect it will not great get always get rid of everything <laughs>